So, I want to try out a new thing, okay? And that is Twitter Tuesday, or Thursday, I don't know. Still, um, still f kind of figuring this out. But basically, I, um, I want to mention, all right? I am so behind in the internet. Like, sometimes I just freaking, like, I, I don't know what's going on at any, at, at any point, and I'm learning about this stuff after the fact, whereas people knew about it for days or something. So, I wanted to go into stuff like the what's happening in the trending, and kind of just kind of see, maybe look at memes every now and then, maybe have a little bit of a discussion about um, what's going on. And I kind of took a look, and I think I know what's going on for today, but um, that was just at, like, at a little glance, okay? So, uh, my feed is basically all of just, like, artists and other VTubers and stuff like that, so, I mean, you, you could see that if you follow any number of VTubers, really. So, Alright, we're gonna take a look. Um, I'm not really interested in hockey, but what I am interested is this. So, right now, what's trending is Pokemon, apparently. So, uh, apparently there is a new Pokemon Presents coming out on the 27th of February, which is in literally a week from this day, you know? And basically... Um, there, it, we don't know exactly what's going on in this Pokemon Presents, so people are assuming that a new Pokemon game is gonna possibly be announced for, um, coming out at the holiday of this year. So I wanted to talk for a moment about Pokemon, my experience with Pokemon. You may not know, or you may not really see it, see it with me, but I was a huge Pokemon gamer when I was a kid, okay? I even enjoyed some Pokemon games into my adult life, you know? Although, I would say that, like, the last Pokemon game that I played was Pokemon... It was either X or Y, I can't remember which one. And even then, it was, like, years after Pokemon X or Y came out... That's kind of when I played it. I be got so behind in Pokemon. And the thing that kind of gets me behind in some of these games especially is... Well, one, sometimes I get busy with work or life. Wait. Oh, it just reminds me of one of my more favorite Pokemon songs that I'm listening to here. But, um... Actually, pretty uh, uh, on point with the... Um, Nintendo lo-fi mix that we're listening to. So, I enjoy the Pokemon series, but I don't really like the direction that the Pokemon games have been going in in recent years. And it's not just like, oh, the, everything's the same, me, 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 me. Well, that's... I, I don't care about that. The thing I care about is the fact that they seem to just be shooting out a Pokemon game very quickly like every couple of years now just to I, I'd say satisfy audiences and it's a Pokemon like mainline game or a Pokemon remake you know I was heavily disappointed with uh, Brilliant Diamond and uh, Glorious Pearl or whatever they were called I didn't think those were really good remakes but I am I am hopefully optimistic about the future of Pokemon, that I hope that they can course correct, especially after how Pal World basically blew them out of the water. And I don't say that, like, Pokemon needs to do what Pal World did, but what I am saying is that there are things that Pal World did that Pokemon users really wanted that haven't really played Pokemon in the last couple of however long. So, uh, I wanted to take a look. Po when did Pokemon uh, Scarlet and Violet come out? 
Uh, I'm looking it up. It was... 2022. So, yeah, I'd say probably it, it will be, like, two years this November, which is probably when a new Pokemon, like, game would come out. It would have been two years. So, the thing that I would say is that, like, Poke the Pokemon company needs to change from ha being, like, every two years they're putting out a game that, like, people have been complaining are buggy or doesn't feel like it's a full experience or whatever, you know? And, like, it, it feels like the Pokemon games just need to go to a more, like, a polished point before they can actually be released, and that's kind of where we're at. But, 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 what people have been saying, it, what ha people have noticed, and that's why, like, Johto is trending, is that people have noticed in this Pokemon Presents, basically the waiting room on YouTube, it's listed that Pokemon Gold and Silver are, is, like, the musical tags in there. So people are wondering what, um, Gold and Silver, what, uh, the Johto, uh, region has to do. Johto is actually one of my favorite regions. Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver is probably two of my favorite Pokemon games, and yeah, those are remakes, but they feel like they kind of advanced on the original rather than took away from it, you know? So, yeah, I, I, I don't know what might be there. If they're just, even if they re basically say, hey, we're not going to do a mainline Pokemon game this year, but maybe take a year or two off, you know, we don't need a mainline Pokemon year, Pokemon game every two years now with a bunch of DLC. Maybe if they sit there and say, hey, we've been working on a game on the side and release kind of like a Johto region thing, I would totally be on board for that. I'll be honest. I don't think we need a new Pokemon game yet. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet came out to, like, not really any different fanfare. I didn't see people absolutely loving it. So, oh, I saw this earlier. Pokemon fans waking up on the 27th getting ready to defend or completely shit on the new Pokemon main series game. I, I don't think, I don't want to do shit on anything. I, but honestly, like, I just want... I just want the Pokemon Company to do better at this point. This is the biggest franchise in the world. They need to respect their audience. Give me a reason to get another shiny Lugia. What if they reveal, like, they're finally doing a remake of, like, um, Pokemon uh, Colosseum or Pokemon XD with the shadow Pokemon and stuff? Pokemon Presents video sitting there with the game listed as Gold Silver. Yeah, this is why people are uh, thinking there's some sort of Johto thing. It, and that's in the waiting room of um, this. Here's my not going to happen and as unrealistic as possible Pokemon Direct Bingo for the lols. Bingo. Pokemon Laundry. Man. <laughs> like a mobile game that promotes like, <laughs> like people uh, doing laundry to catch Pokemon. I got Pokemon Sleep. And honestly, my phone can't run it. They they needed to make that not as heavy on that phone as possible. Pokemon apples and Pokemon oranges. <laughs> like an apple or an orange legendary. Pokemon XC, Gale of Darkness 2, Shadow the Hedgehog Returns. Heck yeah. Legends of N, the Zorark. Uh, Five Nights at Pokemon Direct featuring animatronic Pikachu. Oh no, not the crossover! Pokemon and Digimon crossover. You know, this might be kind of the thing of the ages. Remake of a remake of a remake of a remake of a Pokemon apples and oranges. <laughs> Pokemon Let's Go, literally outside. Pokemon Black 1 one third and White 1 one third. Pokemon Black and White were actually, like, for the story... I really did love it. Uh, Y'all want a Mystery Dungeon game, but I'd love a Rumble game. 
Um, I mean, a new mist. Like one thing that I've been saying, especially that Pokemon should have at this point, uh, is I would like to see another Pokemon Ranger game. Personally, I don't like they released a couple of those and they just died off kind of super quick during the DS era. New Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, please, 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 someone summoning the Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> Oh my god, is that is that really how many mystery dungeons are out there? I I only did like the Game Boy Advanced version. Emerald, hey Briggs, how's it going? Okay, the bingo card with realistic expectations. Go update. I mean, we haven't really heard anything about a Pokemon Go. Master Sex update? Wait, what? What's that about? I don't know what that is about. Info on latest Scarlet Violet raid event. Okay, yeah, we can see that. Sleep update, yeah. Very quiet quiet English translation of Mr. Utsunomiya, followed by loud trailers. Free space. Oh, I get what you what it, what they mean. Cafe remix update. Latest TCG expansion info. It depends if this is just supposed to be a um a update on the games or expansion. Pokemon World's Hawaii ad, probably the one we've already we've seen already. There's a well, oh wait, that's another TCG thing. All right, Unite update. That's realistic, but they haven't really been heavy on the Unite, like giving us Unite updates. But whatever. Are we gonna see realistic Pikachu again? They had a realistic Pikachu. I haven't seen one of these Pokemon directs in so long. Next week is officially announced. Check out these Pokemon covers and more while you speculate on what's next. Uh, yeah. People want uh, Pokemon Black and White stuff. Pokemon Presents. What is this? Save my $30 from not buying Power World. Show me something good. Eh. I mean, I thought that $30 was great for Power World. It's that time again. Gen 2 and Gen 4 fans fighting over whether the next big reveal is Let's Go Johto or uh, PMD Explorers DX. Neither are getting revealed. I don't know. I I could, if they're doing something with um, Johto, I don't know. But people really want black white stuff. Seriously considering taking next Tuesday off work just to watch a Pokemon Presents, really? Alright, bingo. Uh, let's go Johto. I have no idea what that is. Pokemon Concierge. Black 3 and white? Okay, whatever. Nah. Nah. Nah, dude. Nah, dude. I don't think- I don't know if they're gonna remake black and white, honestly. I feel like, uh, the per Diamond Pearl remakes just didn't do too well. But, whatever. Um, let's look at some other things. Boycott GoFundMe. I don't know anything about this. Uh, I'm in the wrong line of work if I were... Is this political? I think this might be political. Okay, I, I'm guessing, like, it's because there was a, um politician that kind of got kicked out of Congress or the Senate or whatever, and then basically he goes on GoFundMe. Yeah, I, I think that I'm I'm gonna avoid this. Why is holes trending? Hopefully this isn't... Wait, what? Wait, there's a live-action Borderlands movie? Dig some holes. Holes in a shoe. Huh? Uh, I don't know. But Borderlands is trending. Wait. Oh, I see. So there's a live-action Borderlands movie coming out, and I'll uh, be honest, it looks kind of good. Hello. That flippin' scared me. <laughs> Kate Blanchett. Wait, wow. I mean, she does look good. Don't get me wrong. And I see why uh, people are, like, Holes is trending, because people are looking at this and they're just like, this looks exactly like the Holes poster. Makes sense. So, yeah. 
I mean, I'm... I'll be honest. With all of these video game, um... With all of these, uh, video game adaptations, I'm gonna sit there and say this, that, um... I remain positively, hopefully optimistic for any of these, um video game adaptations or anime adaptations into live action. I mean, we have the technology right now to really make these things work, but the problem that I do have with a lot of these things has just been that, like, you know, all of the bureaucratic, we're trying to make movie goers go and watch this while also getting all the video game nerds to come and enjoy this too, and then it, that's where it falls out on its face. When you go through a bunch of that frickin' publication and whatever nonsense and marketing and whatever, they're tell and they're telling these mo these cinematographers what to do, and it's where it loses the heart and soul of these things because they're looking at it as how can we make money rather than how can we make a good product, and that's something that I would say is a thing that we we see a lot in. Um, uh, even the video game industry is that there's just too many times where a video game is basically trying to make as much money as possible rather than like making a good product that people want to enjoy so that's pretty much it so I don't know I like the look of it but of course there has been video game adaptations that looked good and then came out as completely just awful. <laughs> I'll be honest. So, yeah. Kevin Hart as Roland? I don't know who Roland is. I've only really played the first Borderlands, I'll be completely honest. But, I mean, I hope that it's really just kind of like a high sci-fi futuristic Mad Max type of thing and it would have been good. Borderlands might be the only and last time I ever laughed at cheesy dialogue. I mean, it's just cheesy all over the place. But yeah, um, I think that's pretty much the big stuff that are that's in the trending. There's this adventuring. I don't know what that is. I'm kind of scared to kind of click on certain ones. But yeah. Uh, so there's all that. There's Twitter Tuesday. So that's basically our quick little, um, like, news rundown on what's going on on Twitter.